Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation Testing series. This is our second tutorial in this series and in this particular tutorial we will learn to install the Python on the Windows machine. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial we learned that what is Python language. Now let's see how we can install this one on the Windows machine. So simply go to the browser here and type download download Python and this is the official website. Just click on uh, this one. And here you will see that this is uh, automatically detecting that I'm using the Windows and that's why it's showing me the Windows version. So this is the latest version 3.12.3 if you want to install the older versions so simply you can go to the pre-releases and if you want docker images just click on this one. So let me show you these links here. Let me click on this one and if you're using some other platform like Unix, Linux, Mac so simply go to the relevant link here let me click on others as well so the first thing is regarding the docker images so simply from here you can download the docker images and if i go to this one so here you will see that current pre-releases so you will go here and current production versions and you will find different versions here so python 1.3 okay and if i go to these uh, releases here so basically you will see that we have the older releases like 3.12.3, 10, 9 and so on. So if you want to download the specific one, so you can download the specific version from here. Okay, if you go here, so you will see that this is for the Mac OS. So these one here is basically, if you go here, so these ones are on the other platforms. Okay, so from here you can download for the specific platform. So as we are using the windows so let me go here but before downloading okay let's download this one so it will download in the file meanwhile i will show you some other options uh, or links which are useful here for example this documentation so if you go to the python documentation so uh, from here you will see a uh, different tutorials here in terms of working with the python so you will find a very good uh, options for example uh, if we talk about looping techniques so you will see that you will uh, diff learn the different looping techniques from here and they have explained each and everything in very detail and in a very good way so uh, the file is downloaded here in my download section so let me open the folder and simply right click on this one and run as a administrator click on yes and uh, you will see this kind of a pop-up here so here uh, just select this option add python.exe to the path if you don't select this option you need to go to the environment variables and set the path over there but if you select this option you don't need to do this so simply go with the install now here and it will install all the necessary things for you in terms of python so once it will be installed i will show you how you can verify that the python has been installed successfully on your machine or not so I'm using Windows 11. So the, the installation process is pretty much similar for the Windows 10 as well here. Okay. So the installation is pretty much easy. You don't need to worry about different options here. So once it will be completed, I will show you at the end, it will show you some more options, which will be helpful if you are learning the Python, either for automation testing or for any other purposes. Okay. So the process is almost completed here and it's just finalizing the installation here right now so here you see that new to python start the online tutorial just click on this one so again it will take you to this particular page and if i go back here if you need to see the documentation just click on the documentation again you will land on this thing and that's that's all uh, i think just click on close here and now what you need to do is that you need to verify that python has been installed successfully so simply go to the command prompt and type python dash dash version so you will see that the python version has been displayed if this version doesn't get displayed this means that there's some problem with the installation so we have installed this version so let me show you so this is the latest version basically we we'll go to the path python downloads so this is 3.12.3 .3. and here is 3.12.3 .3. so python has been installed successfully 
In our upcoming tutorials, we will learn to install the PyCharm. So PyCharm is basically an ID to write the Python code. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.